Well, joining me now to discuss this further is a Greek enthusiast, Julius Oga. Thank you very much for joining us on News Now. Now, what do you make of reports that only 2.5% of arable land in the country is being cultivated for farming purposes, especially when the federal government says it has invested so much into the sector? Mr. Oga, can you hear me? Could you repeat your question, please? Please repeat your question. I can hear you now. Okay, so I said, what do you make of the fact that only 2.5% of arable lands in the country is being cultivated for farming, despite the fact that the federal government has invested so much into the agri sector? All right, thank you for your question and thank you for having me. Yes, that's uh, the issue the president was trying to make. I think it's um, been misconstrued a little bit. He's expressing his disappointment that um, mostly many of us have left the village and, and are in the city struggling to end living, whereas there is fallow land lying in the countryside waiting to be cultivated. Be that as it may, to answer your question directly, I think um, these statistics coming from the National uh, Economic uh, Council the, the, the Economic Advisory Council, I meant to say, is very, very, um, very, very uh, pessimistic, if I may put it that way, because for a country with a population of over 200 million people and counting, and with a land mass of over 900,000 square kilometers, and arable land in the neighborhood of 80 something million hectares to have only 2.5 percent of that under cultivation means we're in for trouble in not in the not too distant future what it means is that we are not growing enough food for this population and if we're not growing enough food for this population it means we're going to go hungry we're sooner or later going to be needing food assistance from our neighboring country and that is a disadvantage because we have the landmass arable enough to produce the food to feed ourselves. That's on the one side. On the second side, the reason for much of the land also not being under cultivation at the moment is as a result of insecurity. In many states in the north central and in the northwest where there are so many communities that subsist on agriculture, People have been frightened out of their farms. People have been frightened out of the villages and are moving into refugee camps. Now, if we are not cultivating our land and producing in the season of cropping, then what are we going to eat when we are out of the season? But Mr. Oga, what do you suggest that the federal government do in this situation? One, we have to contend and contain the spate of insecurity that is ravaging the land. Two, the federal government must continue to make that extraneous efforts to encourage young people and strong people and capable people and interested people to go back into farming. If people go back into farming and they are not driven out by insecurity, they will stay in the farm. There are a lot of young people who actually want to farm, but who lack inputs. Those people need to be encouraged with inputs so that they can go back to the land. Oh, so now, Mr. Oga, uh, unfortunately, that's how much we can take on the news. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.